Now, in the topic of quadratic equations, okay, now let's take a look at, let's take a look at checkpoint 5.1, part A, okay? Now, now solving this particular equation, all you need to do is to just expand and then find what M means, okay? So, let's expand this out. What should you be getting? It should be getting 24M minus 9M squared, okay? Then equals to 16. So you realize that this is actually a quadratic functions. So you change them. Okay, you bring over the other side. Make sure to bring your, your signs properly, uh, because this is a very common mistake that students always make. So once, a, once you have done this portion, what do you do? You factorize, right? So press in your calculator, do your cross factorization method. You should get a 3m minus 4, 3m minus 4. Equals to 0, right? This is not done uh, because the question is asking to solve. So you have this. It goes to m4 over 3. Okay, please make sure to solve for m. Now part d, okay, what do you do? You expand. So you do your rainbow method, right? So you have 5p, p plus 4, plus 1, p plus 4, goes to 14p plus 10. Okay, 5p square plus 20p plus p plus 4, goes to 14p plus 10. So when you combine all of them together to give you a quadratic expression, you have 5p squared plus 7p minus 26 equals to 0. So again, factorize them okay, using the, the methods that you prefer. right? Then, solve. Okay, I think, I suppose, all this factorization, expansion, is just a combination of chapter 2, chapter, chapter 3. Okay, so just combine them. You need to apply all of the things that you have learned. Now, for algebra, it's always about your foundation. Once your foundation is settled, all of this shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so you have 5p equals to 3. p equals to 3 over 5. And then you have p plus 2 equals to 0. So p equals to negative 2. So you should have two numbers over here. Okay, now moving forward, let's take a look at checkpoint 5.1 part b. Okay, they're asking you to solve for this equation. So again, use the method that you prefer. You realize that it is always the same. Factorization, solving, I've mentioned. The difference is whether you find the value of x or do you just factorize them first. Okay, so press in your calculator, you should have x minus 7, 2x plus 3 equals to 0. Don't just stop here because this is not a factorized question. So you just apply x equals to 7 or 2x plus 3 equals to 0, x equals to negative 3 over 2. Okay, now then hence, solve for this question. So what does this tell you? It tells you, sorry, this one shouldn't have a y. So this tells you that y plus 2 is actually x, right? So y plus 2 equals to 7, y equals to 5, or y plus 2 equals to negative 3 over 2, of which you will have, make common denominator. That means I want to remove my uh, fractions. I'll actually multiply them throughout. Okay, I'll get 2y equals to negative 7, y equals to negative 7 over 2. Okay, now then moving downwards, okay, question 9. They tell you that the height y meters of an object projected upwards from the ground can be modded. So remember, read the question. This kind of question you really have to read. Okay, they are projected upwards. Alright, so what's the height of the object 2 seconds after it leaves the ground? Means this ball was initially hitting upwards, right? Okay, the height of the object 2 seconds means t equals 2. So y equals 22 minus away. 2 square, you'll get y equals to 20 meters over here. Okay, now when will the object be 15 meters? So this means height is 15. So when hit, when y equals to 15, all right, you will have what t? So you have t minus 5t square. Okay, what will you do? You will just take out t as a common factor, right? So t, okay, equals 5t. So you make divide by 5 throughout, you will have divide by 5 throughout, you have 3, 4t minus away t square. Take out t as a common factor, you have 4 minus away t goes to 3. Right, sorry, you should just combine them together. Okay, so never ever do that. Uh. So you have t squared minus away 4t plus 3 goes to 0. So then factorize this. Okay, you should be getting a t minus 3, t minus 1 equals to 0. Whereas t equals 3 or t equals to 1. Okay, yep, 